Hey what's going on guys welcome back to another launch video so in today's video I'm back with another sneak peeks so today we're going to be taking a look at everything that's coming out to the game very soon and so I wanted to make a video on it because there's a lot to cover and so if you guys want to check out everything make sure you check out the link in the description down below there's a discord link which is my official discord make sure to join it of course if you haven't already and check out the um, ML sneak peeks channel so you can basically access everything that's going to be reviewed in today's video so I hope you guys are excited if you are make sure you drop a like subscribe anyways let's go on and get started Hi guys so let's go ahead and dig in for some info so huge thanks to sammy almizius and everyone else uh, that are basically help share all this info with us so we got a new relic coming very soon mercs staff when the turn starts if any ally stamina is below 50 percent it gives that many points of stamina to all allies kind of like master staff except it doesn't drain the stamina let's see what the second perk is after damaging with a skill deals this many points of water damage to all enemies and applies nightmare to all enemies now that i actually like so um this is actually pretty good against fire monsters of course because fire monsters will be taking that water damage it's gonna be a lot and on top of that there's also nightmares so this is good against like dark monsters and stuff like that you know what i mean so i i like this you know what i mean it comes with nightmares another torture and i we've been seeing this you know it has started recently where uh social point basically decided to add relics that comes in with torches and stuff like that like we've had a vada magma armor that comes with fire damage or is it ignition one of that too and there's also torbox's mask or something like that that comes with curse stuff like that so it's kind of kind of crazy now tubercon is actually i think a youtuber if i'm not mistaken so life is 132,000 i see speed is 8,100 hours 10,230 traits true vision immune to bleed it gains immunity to start it oh my gosh are you kidding me those Traits and status castles just suck. All right, relics, mask, and trap. What's the uh, what's the role of this monster? We see the books, but I don't see the role. What is it supposed to be? King Adam. All right, so guys, in case you didn't know, this is going to be our first mega taunt monster for this era, and you of course want your hand on it. All right, so grab this mega taunt when it's available. Now, I'm pretty sure King Adam is actually the $20 Legends Pass monster, so of course, so you might have to actually purchase that. Now, 142,000 to 355, yes, that is the highest life side in the game, and we can see the speed here as well with 10,538. I'm not really a huge fan of the speed there. I mean, we, we've seen um, lots of mega taunts in the past, including taunt monsters that it has like a bunch of life, but they're slow. And that's pretty common. We've seen that quite a lot. Traits, Megaton. This is a Megaton trait? Are we, well, I thought this was a status caster. This is a trait that he's starting off with, guys. Like basically Pangoloyeth. Think about it that way. So you, of course you want your hand on this, guys. Make sure you get mega, this Megaton here. Gains immunity to control a certain battle. 50% uh, damage mirror, rank 3, rank 4 plays dark protection to all allies of the battle. And rank 5, 100% damage mirror replaces 50% damage mirror. So this 50% damage mirror basically upgrades to 100% damage mirror, which is actually pretty scary. So whatever damage you deal, it's going to be dealt back to you. And of course, it's a megaton, so it's supposed to receive all the incoming damage. Dark protection, interesting to all allies. Wow. <laughs> okay, well. That kind of sucks for Voltic, let's just say. Right? Voltic. Now, if you don't have any trade disablers that takes in the first turn, or PER at least, then yeah, rip Voltic because you can only do Thunder damage, and that Thunder damage 100% is going to come back to you if, of course, you don't cleanse that 100% damage here. Now, double armor, this is good. For tanks, double armor is actually good. So you can stack up two armors one Vada Magma armor, another Reach armor, or something like that. I don't know. Just make sure to stack it up. Really, really good. Books, good legions, families, rocky peaks, and blossom era. So families and good legions is what's really important. As of now, the rank three and rank five traits of Adam seems to be permanent. Nothing special, nothing uh, official or confirmed. Interesting. Okay, so it's not confirmed, guys. Don't get super excited, all right? Uh, or super nervous if you didn't like this. Basically, they might end up changing it. Who knows? So Mother Thalica. This is another monster coming out very soon. You can see the stats here. Apparently, it's a rank zero hardened uh, poison immune at rank one, and immune to torture at start of battle to all allies at rank three. Interesting. So, the torture immunity. I actually like it. You know what I mean? Kicking in. I hope this is actually a trait. But if it's a status caster, that works too. I like the relic slots. That's good. Slab. Another monster coming out. Man, there's so many. Taunt. 
50% life shield to all allies. This one's actually not that bad. And it comes with immunity control. Wait, two armors. That's actually not that bad. So this taunt right here is actually not that bad, guys. Abomination. Oh my gosh. Sucks for Brain Lion because this new <laughs> bounty hunt fugitive killer has Abomination haters. So this monster is going to get killed easily. And it doesn't have immune to bleeding. So you can run that new Ascent. And basically once it's revived, you can that can kick in. The bleeding will be applied as well in case if it doesn't kill it, then it will die fully to Shadow Nia's Ascent if you have that on, on your team. You can give it to, for example, the Bounty Hunt uh, Fugitive Killer, which is Serpentex. So yeah, this monster is going to get destroyed by him. I can already see that. All right, let's see what else we got here. Uh, Blossom Talents. All right, I hope it's spicy because right now we have some really bad talents for this era. You know what I mean? The Griffin. When the turn starts, gives an armor with that many points to the wearer. When any monster dies, gives an armor with that many points to the wearer as well. Two uses. That one's not that bad. You can give it to maybe a tank. That'd probably be the best. You know what I mean? Definitely. Uh, Adam's Cross. Okay, after being damaged by skill, deals that many points of earth damage to enemies. Two uses. When the wearer dies, applies 100% life shield to a random ally. Ooh. That is pretty interesting. When the turn ends, gain skill mirror for one turn. <laughs> okay. I should elect Adam's Cross. And that actually works very well for Adam Monster as well. They're making Adam really good. Yeah, they're making King Adam really a king. Like, they're really making him a king. This is Slab. By the way, a picture of him. Here is Brain Laden. Brain Laden. Bin Laden. Brain Laden. I'm gonna name him that. Uh, so, that's a magic monster blossom. Tubercon, I see that as well. I think that's a YouTuber monster, I'm pretty sure. Let me guess, he plays plants versus zombies or something. I don't know. Okay. And then we got uh, King Autumn. This is going to be the Megaton, and it's going to be used. For a very long time i recommend picking him up guys and i recommend maxing him out because he's going to be meta trust forge laps this is the one that applies triple damage to a single ally and it also cleanses i like that skill of his other than that i'm not really a huge fan of the other ones then we got mother thalica i think this is going to be the exclusive pass i might be wrong guys so don't take my words for that but yeah anyways oh here we go brain Lion is actually going to be the 50 dollars okay oh never mind mother Talica is going to be free guys okay time of recording this it says free here so i hope they don't change it if they do they change it you know what i mean uh king adam the 20 dollars legends pass so they're gonna make a lot of money this season because everybody's gonna be getting their hands on king adam you know what i mean for sure this is the pvp monster never mind it's not even the youtuber one it's just the pvp Rakes is going to be slab. For the breeding of fat, that's just a question mark, so we don't really know yet. Quest, La Mama, Maze, Boulderar, and Entails, we don't know yet. Bounty Hunt, Shivira, and Enhancer. Wow, that's crazy how they really just like leaked the Bounty Hunt monsters already. Oh, the YouTuber monster is going to be Forge Labs. Interesting. Okay, never mind. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's kind of crazy how they actually like, you know, leaked this already. That's... Crazy. All right, the bull. After damaging with a skill, removes taunt and megaton from target. So basically, you can make any monster fast. That's a blossom, of course. Give them this talent, and if you're going up against, like, for example, a megaton monster like, let's just say King Adam, or another monster that has taunt, you give her that easily. Now you you can use this against other monsters from the past as well, like existing monsters like Cryocrawler, Bombita, Shelly, if they still use that, Pangaloya. Slab, that's going to be the marathon monster. All right, what do we got here? Mm, slab, metal tank with taunt trait and skill mirror and shield skills. So taunt we have here means to control. Oh, this is actually not that bad. I remember this guy. This is good. I like that. I like that. So slab is going to be the marathon monster. All right, not the not bad, not bad at all. 100% life shield to all allies. Applies skill mirror to itself. Requires cooldown. Blocks at 50% of income damage from itself. Not bad. Shield. Shield to itself. 100%. Treaty. Oh, this is the ultimate for another monster. Right? Oh, this is the ultimate. Golem fall. So, it's ultimate. Apparently, Tracy will the enemies and stuff. 
while playing days and deals damage. Interesting. All right. Um. Dang, there's so much more, guys. So if you want to check out all of this, there is going to be a link, of course, to my Discord server. Make sure to join it. Head over to Mel Snake Peaks and check this out for yourself. But this is crazy. The Bolding Maze. This is going to be the Maze Monster, guys. It's already leaked. So next week, it's going to come up. I can't wait for the marathon. I'm actually kind of excited for the marathon, I've got to say. Here we go. We got a picture of these two monsters and also Talika. Um, there's going to be a book, so make sure you have Quasi already. You have the Bounty on Killer crew electric all you have to do is get the other three and you'll be fine and this is the bounty hunt not bounty hunt sorry the youtuber monster port lab that's cool we got a picture of these three we got a picture of these three again whose season is it is it that i don't think it's the last of season i don't know whose season is going to be for the dungeon oh look at this that's cool this is the pvp monster Oh look at the, the the staff is going to be in the in the in the what's it called battle pass that's interesting all right and that's old news let me see I think there's oh yeah look at this these are new guys uh, so huge thank you Sammy, for sharing this right now good timing um this is in the game right now available for you guys to actually check out this right here man King Adam you do not want to miss out on King Adam it is so good and we also have I think Forge Labs this is right this is going to be the monster for the race and i recommend picking this one up as well that's actually not that bad mother thalica as well we got the self oh i'm not really a huge fan of this one honestly i think that's a pvp monster as well talica on the other hand could have been better i like the aoe status caster torture immunity and it looks like that's actually a status caster it's not a trade like we mentioned earlier so but if it was a trade it would have been really really good it would have been better actually uh immune to possession status caster true vision and abomination this monster is gonna get destroyed easily guys i i honestly don't know maybe his skills are really good so maybe that'll actually change something in my mind about this monster but other than that trait wise that abomination is really going to kill a sponsor easily so i don't know what to really say about that but anyways guys that's going to be pretty much it for today's monster gen sneak peeks i hope you guys did enjoy and if you did make sure you drop a like subscribe share it with any of your friends that plays monster gens anyways i'll see you guys in the next one peace out